In this video, we'll be looking at syncing verified documents to QuickBooks Desktop. Start by navigating to the Connected Apps page from the Settings menu. Look for the QuickBooks Desktop card. Clicking the I icon will open up our instructional guide on integrating with QuickBooks Desktop. It will guide you through a step-by-step -step process of how to connect, what to expect and so on. The first thing you will need to do to integrate with QuickBooks Desktop is to export your chart of accounts, vendors, items, projects, etc. from QuickBooks and import them into Verify. To do this, open your QuickBooks Desktop, then go to File, Export and select the Lists to IIF File option. Next, select the lists you would like to export. We're going to select Chart of Accounts, Customers, Vendors, Classes and Items, then click on OK. Specify where to save the file, then click Save. At this point, we're going to switch back to Verify and import the IIF file into Verify. Click the Collect button at the top and drop the file into this drop area. Depending on how big your lists are, it could take up to about a minute to finish importing your data into Verify. Once the import has completed, you can reload the Connected Apps page and you should now see a green border around the QuickBooks desktop card, signifying that Verify is successfully integrated with your QuickBooks. Let's open up the Categories page. By running the import from QuickBooks, your default list of categories in Verify have been replaced with your chart of accounts from QuickBooks. If there are any categories you don't plan to use in Verify, you can select them using the checkboxes on the left and delete them from your Verify account. This won't delete your accounts from QuickBooks, but it will reduce the size of your categories list in Verify to make it easier to work with. If we now take a look at the Customers page, we'll see that the Customers list from QuickBooks has also been imported into Verify. The same is true for Job Cost Codes, which comes from the Items list in QuickBooks, and also vendors and projects have all been imported as well. We'll now go to the Payment Types page to take care of one last step required to complete the integration. On this page, you will need to add your various bank and credit cards and then map them to your QuickBooks purchase accounts. To map your purchase account, click this Select Account link in the Purchase Account column and select the appropriate one from QuickBooks. Now when you scan a document, Verify will look for your payment type on the document based on the last four digits of your card and then that document will be assigned with your selected purchase account in QuickBooks. Let's go to the documents page now for a final check. Here you'll need to make sure that each document has the appropriate category assigned as well as payment type. The exception with payment types is on bills. This particular document is an unpaid bill it has a future due date and no payment type assigned since it hasn't been paid yet. When this document is synced to QuickBooks, it will be sent as a bill under Accounts Payable. Other documents such as this one which is a receipt and has a payment type assigned will be sent as a receipt under Credit Card Charges. When you're ready to send your documents to QuickBooks, you will need to tag them with a QB tag. The QB tag is a special system tag that tells Verify which documents to include in exports to QuickBooks. All of these documents are now marked to be included in the next export. Aside from the QB tag, you can also tag your documents with your classes from QuickBooks. These additional tags were imported from QuickBooks and by tagging your documents with these, the corresponding class will be applied in QuickBooks. In this case, this Whole Foods Market document will be assigned the Remodel class. There may be scenarios where you need to split a document across multiple accounts or projects. For this, you can use the split button. If you prefer to have Verify always extract and populate all the individual line items on your receipts, bills and invoices, you can enable the automatic line item extraction feature by clicking this link. To send line items to different accounts in QuickBooks, simply choose the appropriate category on each line item. You can also specify different projects to have these line items sync to different projects in your QuickBooks. We're now ready to sync these documents to QuickBooks Desktop. To do this, go to the Documents Report page, then click the Create a Report button. Start by choosing the date range for the documents you want to sync. For this example, I'm going to choose all of last year's documents. Next, choose the IIF format. This is the format that QuickBooks Desktop requires for imports. 
We now get a helpful reminder to make sure that all relevant documents should be tagged with the QB tag. If you need to do any further filtering, you can do this in the Advanced Options section. For now, I won't do any extra filtering as I want all of last year's documents to be included. In fact, I'll include all documents until the end of the current month. When you're ready, click the Create Report button and confirm. Depending on the amount of data you're exporting, it could take up to a few minutes to generate your IIF file. Once the file is ready, click on this file icon to download it and then open it. This should automatically open your QuickBooks desktop app and prompt you about importing the file. Alternatively, you can open QuickBooks desktop yourself, then go to the file menu and choose import and from IIF files. Click OK and QuickBooks will run a quick backup of your company file. Once that's done, select the IIF file that Verify just generated and click Open. Let's take a look at what was imported. These two transactions have been imported as credit card charges. This one was imported as a bill under Accounts Payable. And this one was imported as a check since the payment type for this expense was a bank account rather than a credit card. In the memo section, you will find a web address that you can open in your browser to download the original image for this receipt. We can see that this Whole Foods Market receipt has been split across two accounts and two projects based on how we defined this in Verify. The remodel class has also been applied according to the tag we added to this document. Once you're happy with all the data that was synced to your QuickBooks desktop, there's just one thing left to do. Go back to your reports page in Verify, then from this menu select Archive Related Documents. This will archive all documents that were included in this export. The reason we do this is to prevent future exports from including documents that have already been imported into QuickBooks Desktop, thereby preventing duplicate entries in your QuickBooks account. If you go back to your Documents page, you will see that your documents are no longer appearing in the Active Bucket. If you ever need to access them in the future, you can do so by viewing your archived bucket. An extra added benefit of archiving your documents is to clear your documents inbox of anything that no longer needs to be looked at. That just about covers QuickBooks desktop integration in Verify. If you have any questions, comments or feedback, reach out to us through this chat feature and the Verify team will be happy to help.